Good to have you back, mm. Great to Chris. Be here. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, it's good to be yeah. back. So, here's the thing. If AD does miss the next two games, how big are those games for Kuzma and really his future with the Lakers? Well, look, obviously there's the reports about him being traded. What I'm told is they're just doing due diligence. Okay. They understand his importance to the team. But if they can find a guy that fulfills their needs of a playmaker, a three-point shooter, and a perimeter defender, mm. which is a tall order, right. <laughs> then yeah. You do, only AD and LeBron, of course, are untouchable. untouchable. Okay. Now, Bogdan Bogdanovich is interesting. Woo! Because his, his numbers are very similar to Kuzma's, and he's used to coming off the bench, mm -hmm. which leads me to, to my main point to answer your question. If Kuzma, let's say AD doesn't play these next two games, and Kuzma averages 26 points a game or whatever, I don't think that changes his standing with the Lakers because they know if, as the second option to LeBron, he can go out and get you 20-something points. Mm -hmm. The question is, can he accept his role that this third year? Because he's not going to be the second option as long as AD's healthy. Right. Right? So can he accept the role as the guy off the bench and be that third guy and shine and excel in that role? For the last few years, Kuzma has been able to play kind of haphazard basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not winning. You're on a losing team. You shoot when you want. You take bad shots and all that. Now he has to adjust to, one, coming off the bench, but, two, playing more winning basketball. Shot selection is better and things like that. And so that's where he's adjusting. So, actually, he might help his standing more if AD did play hmm. and then Kuz came off the bench and played well off the bench. So, again, I, I think he probably remains with the Lakers past the deadline. But what he's got to show them is he can play winning basketball, better shot selection, and maximize those minutes off the bench. What he's trying to do now is jam his 18 to 19 points a night in 10 fewer minutes a right, night right, and five yeah. fewer shots a I night, agree. right? Yeah. And that's the challenge. So he's got to accept that role and excel in it. And that's, that's what I think is going to be huge because what he hasn't been able to do is show that he could be that third option. Give them 18 to 20 a night in this role. Lou Williams, he must turn himself into Lou Williams. Lou Williams can be a starter. Trev Harrell can be a starter. But they come off the bench, and you know Doc knows on a nightly basis, I'm getting 18 to 22 between these two guys. Well, this is what Kuz is now. Because as you mentioned, he was playing 33 minutes last year, now he's down to 23. So now he's trying to, he's condensed and trying to get the same production into him a few minutes, Skip. And he's not that efficient. Kevin Durant could do that, but he's not KD. He's not that efficient of a player. So now he, he like, he comes in. Oh, first shot he get, they're getting the ball. Oh, he's shooting it. It's going up, Skip. You know that. He's always going up. <laughs> he's going up. Right, right, right. But and that's it, what they want him to, okay. to, re to rein that in. Right. So even if he can't give you three and D, even if he can't get all those other things, Two or the three might not be bad. I like the Bodanovich kid out of uh, Sacramento. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's going to be an even swap head up or something like that. But also, Skip, there was something that happened last week, and we talked about it. We did. We talked about it. And if you, you didn't know bring what, it up, I was going to bring it up. You know what Kawhi, what Kawhi trainer said? Kawhi, yeah, 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 I saw it. And, and, and what did Kuz Wait, say? What? Kuzma's trainer said. Yeah, Kuzma did. Kuz, you think that was reference to LeBron? The Kuz, tweet? Kuz said, call a spade a spade. Now, if my trainer says something, I can go to LeBron and say, LeBron, I can't control what he said. But if my trainer says something, I say, well, call it like you see it. Well, did he, was it, who was that referring to? Because obviously, unrelated. right, he, he didn't tell us who it was. Whoops. Now, now, what I'm and told with that, it, right? and you, you may yes. have been told the same thing, LeBron, you know, we know they reportedly they've made up. There's no issues right. there. I will say this, and I'm told LeBron's fine with Kuz, all right, that there's no issue. But even if he does have an issue with him, we have to admit, LeBron's always put business ahead of personal feelings. Yeah, and that's Dan what, Gilbert being the biggest example, and right? That's, hey, Skip, hey, he, what, what has he always done? He loved Lonzo. He loved B.I. But I want that guy to help me win the championship. So he'll put his personal feelings aside. If it means getting right. the championship, because guess what? He loved D-Wade. But he left D-Wade but in Miami to go back to Cleveland because he felt they gave right, him a better chance did. to win. And at the end of the day, yep. Goat James care about one thing, winning. Well, that's why... Or if, scoring in the fourth quarter. Either or. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, unless they get a deal that makes them better without mm -hmm. Kuz, I think LeBron's what about like... Even if he feels... Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. Do that. <laughs> it's so, so, Dreamer. He just dreams. <laughs> right. Maybe Washington just wants to get rid of Bradley all the salary. I want him. Yeah, yeah, they do it. Got him. 
but yeah. but that I, I don't think LeBron's just gonna push him out the door to get okay. rid of him. I gotta go back petty to reason. Lou Williams <laughs> analogy. Here's where it does not work for me. Lou Williams has earned six man of the year. When he steps on the floor, yeah. the others say you're the first option, <laughs> yeah. as opposed to what Kuzma has right. not earned. Right. So right. listen, when Lou's on the floor, trust me, even Kawhi and Paul George, his new teammates, yeah. are like, yeah. go, go ahead, we're yeah. good, do we're good. Yep. You, you, you do it, yeah. right? So there's no threat there right. because he's earned his place in that right. rotation, which is it's it's weirdly he's like a starter who comes off the bench because right. he's going to play starters minutes in they reverse. They, they it's do, it's right. what Popovich did with Ginobili. He right. would bring him right. in and just change the whole game mm -hmm. all of a sudden. But with this kid, I still I'm on record. I love Kyle Kuzma. I love what he's made of. He might not fit here, but they need him to fit. Because I still believe this team needs a closer, and he can be the closer. He's he was born with the mentality of a closer, where he he has no memory of the last miss. I agree. He just keeps shooting. It's in his, <laughs> in his light. I mean, his mind is just green light. That's all he sees is green, and he has. He can that, immediately forget that I just shot an air ball, and the next time he'll... But that's the problem. Frank Vogel wanted him to remember. <laughs> Stop okay. shooting so many times. Okay. Got to find the balance. Okay, so the, the problem here is that LeBron and AD need to consider him a first option in, in crucial stretches of the fourth quarter, and I don't know if they'll ever no. live with that. No, they go into AD. They, you see, okay. they, look, they, go, they go to the pick and roll, or they go to AD posting up. That's the first option. Then LeBron is second option. Okay. I, I hear where you're coming from because he does have that mentality, and I like that in him. But as you say, Shannon, he's not that efficient. So can he no. be your guy? You have to guy live with it. No. <laughs> hey, I've seen him go crazy yeah. hot in fourth quarters and just carry this. Well, you game. saw him in the like, second quarter against on Christmas. Oh, yeah. You saw him. He, he, oh, he just changed the game. Well, that the, well, the first well, that was the first quarter. The first quarter, he came and he got 15 points to end up with 19 at the half. Right. Yeah. And, and remember, Kawhi was on fire, but he was even yeah. hotter. Right. 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 Well, it might have been the second quarter he got 15 points. And, and I remember right at now. Dallas, that big Friday right. night affair, the first yes. time they played Yes, oh. yes. Listen, Kuzma was sensational in that game, making big shots. Yeah. And there were times last year at Boston, remember, right. he just went nuts yes. making threes. But he you know, can finish games. Like, he's not yeah. going to start, but he can finish. They're not against him being in that finishing right. group. The thing is, is that, look, Brandon Ingram, B.I., is a better player than Kuz. Okay. But he needs the ball. Yeah. Right. Well, you can't have A.D. needing the ball, LeBron needing the ball, and B.I. needing the ball yeah. because you can't get the production out of B.I. that you see in New Orleans. Right. Kuz can play along without the ball. Okay. He can play alongside LeBron, but he hasn't shown the consistency that they need to see because they know that because Kawhi, you know what you're gonna get. You know what you're gonna get with Paul George. Yeah. But they got two Bulldogs coming off the bench with Trez and Lou Williams. Okay. That's what they need from him. They need Kuz to give them 18 to 20. Skip. I need okay. to be able to put that in my pocket. Right. Okay. And yet I agree with you. If he starts for AD on Friday and Saturday night and he scores 30 a game. It's, it's really just helping getting him out of here, right? Right, right. You're making other teams him more will, marketable, yeah. right? As yep. opposed to more fittable within because the I Because I don't see how he starts. They're going to start with Avery Bradley because he's the on-ball defender. They're going to keep Danny Green because he can defend and shoot the three. Right. I don't see a scenario he goes into the starting lineup this yep. year. No, no. And I've also seen a lot of new hairstyles from Kyle <laughs> Kuzma. And, <laughs> and it's <laughs> like rebellious to me. Yeah. Like every night it's a new style. Like I don't I, I, fit. There I don't. He is. Mama, mama, mama Kuzma got on me when I tweeted something oh, about his hair. So I'm leaving that. I ain't saying nothing about his hair. He's, not happy with he's not the first to have to ex have trouble accepting that third role with a LeBron team. That's yeah. a fact. That's what happens. I know. Carrie Love. Chris Bosch, Bosch. Love, right. Kevin Love was a 26 and 13 guy. Yep. And it goes 16 and 6 by the time he was yep. out. But you won. So the, do you want to win? And Chris Bosch was a 20 10. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> so no more giving him a hard time about the mm, hair. No. That's done. Chris, Cisco. thank you. Thank you. No. Whoops. Thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.